So many books in the world, ain't no boy and no girl who could truly claim to read every one. So we told them to sit, gave them ten minutes to figure out the plots before the time is done. Now let's watch their last minute book report. I'm Pierce Brown, I'm the author of the Red Rising Trilogy, and I'm doing a book report on Withering Heights. And I've claimed to have read it a lot of times. I think there's a white cliff in it. Heathcliff, not Wycliffe. Wycliffe's a rapper. My strategy is to try to read the first sentence of most of the chapters and then the last sentence. It is not turning out to actually be helping me at all. I uttered an ejaculation of discontent at seeing his dismal grate and commenced shutting the casements one after another till I came to his. Not quite my writing style. Oh, I've abandoned strategy completely at this point. Now I'm trying to skim just getting characters' names. I feel very strong. Very, very good indeed. It's about a farm boy um, who lives in Wuthering Heights, and he finds these two droids who um, have this message from a princess. In order to fulfill his destiny, he has to take this message to these rebels who are fighting against the British government and who have, who have actually created this weapon of mass destruction, which is threatening his farmstead. Lockwood is obviously the farm boy, and then there's this evil, swarthy gentleman uh, who sometimes wears a helmet, but I'm not really sure because uh, sometimes he has it on, sometimes he has it off, but his name is um, Heathcliff. Nellie is actually one of the droids who has the plans. Kathy's similar to her mother in that she doesn't think that she's similar to her mother. In the days leading up to his death, Heathcliff is contemplating his existence and also how Small forest creatures could have destroyed his best unit in the forest. I would say that Wuthering Heights is a violence-tinged revenge tale, but it's also about a young man discovering his destiny and destroying weapons of mass destruction in the future. I would love to recommend Wuthering Heights to anyone who likes a great rip-roaring action story set in an alternative universe Victorian England with light swords. Last